associations, academic associations and researchers. With only two more years remaining to the set achievement of Millennium Development Goals 4 and 5, not much has been achieved, with the rate of maternal and neonatal mortality still very high. 2015, we are only two years to that target. Looking at the data from the Kenya Demographic Health Survey of 2008-2009, we don't seem to be doing very well. You saw the data. We are far from the 147 maternal deaths we were targeting, 147 maternal deaths per 100 life births. Yeah, the 2008-2009 gave us 488. We are far, we are not doing very well. This has been attributed to low awareness on maternal danger signs, inadequate information on how to deal with emergency needs during a pregnancy, and inadequate capacity by government to ensure adequate availability, retention, training, and recruitment of skilled birth attendants. You find that the uh, majority of our women deliver outside of health facility. Uh, they do not receive care, skilled care at delivery. That is the biggest, that is the biggest challenge because for you to reduce maternal mortality, we have to have a large proportion of our mothers delivering in health, health facilities. Then when you look at um, the neonatal deaths, a number of them, are, a big proportion of them are preventable, like the ones which cause uh, difficulties in breathing. If this is in a hospital, the doctors know what to do. They can resuscitate the infant, they know what to do. The symposium aims to create a platform for experts to familiarize with trends and innovations in maternal and neonatal health for the improvement of quality health care. So basically looking at those numbers, it doesn't seem like we are likely in the next two or three years going to reduce the number dramatically, to reduce the number to where we had hoped to be. So the idea for this symposium is for us to think together and see what do we need to do, where do we need to put effort so that we can attain these goals. Josephine Wawera, GBS.